just looking for the sports channel, Gary. Alrighty, well, we had a nice good 30 minute work day uh, on both the day trades and swing trades, making about $230, $240, um, $300 across all accounts. So it was a really good day and it was nice and peaceful. So let's get into the trades. Each morning, I post the trades of my, the best setups for the day, and these are the three trades that I came up with this morning. NEO over 28.50, stop below 27.94, target the 29.75 area. And then we also said Microsoft over 205. That was kind of a dud. We didn't take that trade because we took NEO and AMD. Those set up nice and early in the morning, and we just made our money and ran. So if you want to catch us live, check out Weenie Trades Live. But our first trade of the day was on NEO, and we said to go long just over 28.50, and we did just that. So we went long just over 28.50, that's right there. And we had a nice quick wick down, never hit our stop of 27.95, just below 28, because we had this nice good 28.40 support lining up from the daily chart. And that's why NEO was on my list today, because it was gapping up, it had nice good volume, bull flag pop, we had a nice good sell-off. Had a nice good igniting green bar, and we had an inside day yesterday, and today we're gapping over the green bar. We're taking out all the sellers of two days ago at 28.45, and so Neo's likely to have a good explosion because of that. So what we did is we went ahead and went long of just over 28.50, and boom, we just got a nice good push up. I'm just trailing up my stop, trailing up my stop, and then boom, I was tagged out right on that tail candle, 29.22. But I was uh, keeping it on my radar because I know it has probably room to at least push to 30. We got this nice, good push down, and then we got this nice, good triangle pattern right here. So look at this. Lo lows are getting, there's lower highs and lower lows, but they're contained. And right over here, just over 29.14, we decided to add to NEO. And so we went ahead and added to NEO right there. And we got this nice, good push up. And I just took my profits right at about 29.75, right, as we said. So, yeah, we didn't catch the full move, but we didn't, you know, have to deal with any more sell-offs. And you make your money right away. So, NEO, right, nice, good trade on the day for $106 profit. Our next trade in the day was on AMD. And we posted AMD because yesterday we had this, first of all, yesterday we got upgraded, but it was just good selling off because the SPY was selling off. But look, we had this nice good resistance that we kept on hitting at this 77.30, 77.40, 77.50 level. And so what we said was to go long just over 77.50. I actually missed the initial move on 77.50. However, we were able to get a back test and you can always buy a back test. It's even better sometimes to buy a back test. But yeah, you could have bought right on this green candle, but I went ahead and bought right on this red candle. And boom, we just essentially nailed the low at that point in time. And we got this nice push up. I'm just trailing up my stop, trailing up my stop, trailing up my stop. And I trailed my stop just a little bit too tight. And this wick got me right here. Should have held just a wee bit longer to get that 78, 78, 30 level. And look at that. Even again, AMD later just bounced off that 77, 50 level. I think AMD has room to go higher. But that was for a nice little, small little revenue trade of five dollars so you can have big wins um small wins small losses as long as you don't have big losses you're gonna make money as a trader and we've just been grinding out small losses all week but today we finally get some big wins be sure to keep an eye out for the qqq today we have a lot of uh big fang to big tech stocks reporting today we'll be having facebook apple amazon and google all reporting if they all do good market might rip if half of them do good, half of them do bad, market's going to stay the same. If they all do bad, market could dump. So QQQ is going to be influencing the SPY, the SPY. Watch out on SPY for 339 on the upside. If we start breaking that, we might just be back into cruising into an uptrend. But we still have sideways action to go till the end of the year because of elections and back and forth and drama. The soap opera continues. And um, 319 on the downside is something to look out for if we're starting to sell off on bad earnings reports. Alrighty, so catch us at Weenie Trades Live. A lot of our members caught, you know, some of these trades for $250. You know, I don't know anybody who wouldn't want to take a quarter grand. But um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. See ya.